Now let us try the examples for the bolted pin to colon connections using the web clips. The connection here is connected by two anchor clip. The anchor clip specifications is given here. There are a series of bolts. Five bolts on one side. And a total of five bolts passing through the weight of the beam. The bolts are in the class 8.8 .8 with a diameter of 16 mm. The shear planes are the tracted. The positions of the bolts are outlined here. And the details of the beams and columns are given. Assume that the steel grade for the entire connection is S275 and the member is subjected to a vertical shear force of 200 kN. You are asked to show that the connection is suitable to resist the design force of 200 kN vertical load. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solutions. In order for you to solve these questions, first you will need to determine the numbers of joints there. There will be joints between the beams and the angle clips, which is connected by the bolts, and there will be joint between the columns and the angle clips which is also connected by the bolts. By looking at the joint here, there will be 10 shear planes. And by looking at the joint between the angle clip and the beam web, there will be also 10 shear planes. You know that the shear plane pass through the threaded region. There will be two set of design you need to check, which is between the beams and the anchor grip, and also the column and the anchor clip. Let us first look into the joint between the column and the anchor. Due to the existence of the bolts, you will need to check the edge distance and spacing between the bolt holes. As it involves the connections between beam and the columns, you will need to check for the ductility. There will be shear plane between the bolts. Therefore, you will have to check for the shear resistance of the bolts. As for the bearing resistance, you will need to check the bearing resistance of the angle and also bearing resistance of the column flank. And you will need to check for the block tearing resistance of the angle. And you will need to check for the block tearing resistance of the angle. In case that pre stress boots is being used, you will need to check for the friction resistance. In this case, standard bolts is being used, therefore the friction resistance not required to be checked. Next, we look into the design check for the beam and angle joint. Due to the existence of the bolts, you will need to check for the distance and spacing of the bolt hole as it involves the connections between beams and columns, you need to check for the ductility. With the existence of the boat, you will have to check for the shear resistance of the boats. And it also involves the bearing resistance of the angle as well as the bearing resistance of the web. Also, you will need to check for the block tearing of the web. And if the boat is pre-stressed boat, you will need to check for the friction resistance. In this case, 
the friction resistance is not required because the boat is the standard boat. As you can see here, theoretically you will have to check every single aspect of this. However, if you look into the mechanisms of load acting on the member, particularly those involved with the shear resistance of the boats, bearing resistance of the angle and bearing resistance of the web, the joint between the column and angles are purely vertical. However, for the joint between the angle clip and the beam, there will be resultant force due to the rotational load acting on the connections. This additional horizontal force caused by the moment rotations will give higher resultant force in comparison to the pure vertical force. With that, we know that the joint between the beam and angle will be more critical in comparison to the joint between the angle and column. If you compare this side by side, the calculations for the ductility will be the same. Checking the ductility here is representative for the ductility here as well. And if the arrangements of the boats here is identical to arrangement of the boat here, you will also need to check this for one time. Unless the arrangement and numbers of boats are different, then you have to check both edge distance and spacing. As for this, Due to the existence of the resultant force, which is always greater than the vertical force, we know that these are more critical. Therefore, it is sufficient for you to check for this only, as if in this pass, the other side will automatically pass. This is again provided the steel grade for the column beam and the plates are the same. The numbers and the arrangements of the boots are identical for both the beams and the columns. If you are unsure, you can check all the aspects here. Just that you will have longer calculation steps.